Hey guys, it's Todd from Contour Dermatology. I'm a nurse practitioner here, and today I am with Bianca Fort, who is a local radio personality. Do you yeah. want to tell them a little bit about you? Yeah, I'm born and raised here, so I've been on the radio since I was 16. I'm not going to tell my age now, but it's been some years. <laughs> um, and I've been working with Contour, actually, for the past few years. It's been great. So I've done Botox and a whole bunch of different things, and today I've really wanted to do this treatment, the laser hair removal, because I have a few stuff. I have some hair here that's growing due to um, testosterone, extra, extra testosterone, which I just learned, and then also hydronitis, which affects your sweat glands and where your hair grows. So I'm yeah. excited to get rid of those problems, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hydronitis superativa is, is something that um, where you get little cysts, you get little abscesses in the, in the hair follicle. And so what we do is we get rid of the hair and you have no abscesses that, that from that point on. So it's, it, it, it's a treatment for a medical condition. Um, and it's uh, very, very, um, good. It's uh, the the people that have done that I've that I've done laser hair removal on that that have hydronitis superativa. Um, it's uh, they they no longer have any issues. So it's it's a yeah. it's a great treatment, and I'm I'm happy, and I'm happy that you're here today. So I can I can show them how easy laser hair removal is. Yeah. I'm just gonna put these right over your eyes to protect your eyes. Oh, this right is a like good that. look for me. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> And so how long have you worked for the radio station? So it's, okay, 16, 26, 27, like 16 years. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, so. The, um, I, I, uh, I've been in the desert for, for about three and a half years and I've definitely listened to you before. Awesome. So, <clears throat> tells me that she burns pretty easily and that helps me because that means that she doesn't have a tremendous amount of melanocytes in her skin. I have these little things on here so I can get really, really close and see what's going on. Um, uh, it told me that she burns pretty easily, so that means that I can be pretty aggressive with my, with my treatment. Um, if somebody said that they tanned easily, then I wouldn't wanna be aggressive because I wouldn't want to activate the melanocytes and cause dark pigmentation, which we can do. Um, this particular laser is a, uh, an Alexandrite laser. Um, it's going to go to 755 nanometers and it's going to tr target that laser, that hair follicle. And we call it the, the, the bulge of the, uh, of the bulb. Um, it happens to also be where the stem cells, uh, that tell the hair to grow live. So at the same time that I'm getting rid of the hair, I'm getting rid of the stem cells that cause the hair to grow. Um, do you, what are your expectations out of this? Um, oh, it's Bianca. Oh, Bianca, I'm <laughs> okay. sorry. Oh my no, gosh, no, no. Bianca. It's okay. Um, I mean, honestly, the hydronitis was the biggest thing and just not shaving would be a dream. I know it's going to take a couple procedures, but I'm ready for everything. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. I don't know how painful is it. Is it painful? What's no, it feel like? No, it's, it feels like, uh, it feels a little bit like a rubber band snapping okay. against your skin. And the higher I go, the, the, you know, the farther back I'm pulling. Um, okay. But it's, this is not going to be something that's horrible by any means. Um, on a scale from 0 to 10 on our lasers, I would say that we have lasers that are an 8 and we have lasers that are um, like a 2 or 3 and this is one of those lasers. It's a 2 or 3. Awesome. If you ever, if you feel like I'm going too fast, you can tell me to stop and I, and I will stop. I don't want to torture you. This is not about torturing you. It's about making making you get hair loss. Awesome. I think I did the Fraxel, is that what it's called before? Uh-huh. So, that was pretty. Is it similar? Feeling? No. Okay. No. <laughs> That's the seven or eight that I was talking about. Oh, okay, about. okay. okay. So, so I should be good then. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. There you go. Okay. So and I'm going to start with Bianca's uh, chin. Just go right here. And right now I'm just uh, calibrating my machine, which I didn't do beforehand, which I should have. <laughs> the anticipation. Exactly. <laughs> and then while, I, while I'm in between sessions, because I know you said it about six weeks, when I do get that little hair growth, am I just continuing to shave it? 
or sure. how does that work? Okay. Yeah. The, the first couple of times you're gonna, the first time you'll notice that there's a decrease in hair and hopefully a thinning of the hair. Okay. Um, after the second and third time, you're gonna notice the big difference. Okay. So you won't notice a huge difference after the first one. Uh, hair grows in three different cycles. We have an antigen phase, which, which is a growth phase. We have a telogen phase and then a catagen phase. The catagen phase is a resting period. If, there's, if the follicle is resting and there's no hair in it and there's no pigment in it to cause uh, destruction, then we can't really treat it. We have to wait for that hair to wake back up and treat it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get right here. I'll tell you everything I'm gonna do. One, two, three. You okay? Yeah. Not so bad? Not so bad. Okay, perfect. One, two, three. You okay? Yep. It just it just is like a shock and I think sound yeah. makes you jump. So it, it it's at the same time that the laser beam comes out, we have a coolant that comes out and cools your skin. I was gonna say it feels like a mist. Yes. Yeah. Does it bother you? No. Okay. I can always turn it off if it bothers you. So I'm gonna get right here in your nose. One, two, three. You okay? Yep. I like to rid the world of one nose hair at a time. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> hurt. It just is like I think just startling. Sure. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. And one, two, three. There you go. Smells like my straightener when my exactly. hair is big. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So what got you into radio? Um, I always loved music. I honestly like would think the DJs were so cool when they would come to the school. And I just, I couldn't sing. I could not dance. So I was like, how can I get close to the music without actually doing anything musical? That's very cool. Yeah. I was born uh, in 66. So I graduated high school in 1984. One, two, three. And so the 80s, uh, music was a very, very big part of my life. I had ridiculous hair. I had a mullet with a perm in the back for a while. Oh my god. Um, but I loved all of the music. I loved New Wave. Not so much of a hair band guy. One, two, three. All right, right back here. One, two, three. You okay? Mm-hmm. Did you see this? What's your favorite genre of music? Um, I like, I love hip hop and pop, but alternative oldies, I'm actually, so I'm live on 92.7, which is more hip hop and pop. Uh -huh. And then I voice track a show on the Eagle, which is hits from like the 70s. Oh, I love this. Yeah. I'm a huge glam rock fan. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Woo! You okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what does it look R like? Is it red now? How it's, does... it's very red. Okay. <laughs> very, very red. So now we're gonna go to your underarm pits here. Just uh, okay. Right. I'm a little sweaty, so that's I don't know okay. If that, okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Just right up high like that. <laughs> is it gonna affect the hydroninus? Because it's a little how it is. Uh, tell me, like, is it going to affect it? Make it worse? Or or? Just like, does it hurt it more? Because I'm going in those areas that are sensitive. It's can it can hurt. Okay. Um, you don't have a ton of arm hair. Yeah. Um, underarm hair, but it's um, it, it's if you need me to stop, you just tell me to stop. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. You okay? Yep. One, two, three. You okay? Yep. Actually, this one doesn't hurt. I think the chin, because I have to shave that one more, yeah. was a little more sensitive to it. Oh, that's a little warm. <laughs> so there's, uh, I'll tell you later. 
One, two, three. Mm. There we go. You need a break? I think I'm okay. Okay. You're doing great. Okay. okay. One, two, three. I know that's a tender area. Yeah, it just always, it's just constantly will like get inflamed and then go down, especially, you know, you wear bras and you work out and it's just, you never know. I try to wear my bra when I don't work out. So I'm going up in the setting because I'm not really getting the clinical endpoint. And the clinical endpoint would be redness and swelling a, a, a around the follicle. I also see the follicle has not really changed. The hair itself has not really changed that much. So I'm just going to go up a little bit. How are you doing? I'm good. It's just so crazy, everything we have now for everything. It is. Okay, <laughs> you're done on this side. Okay. I'll put your arm down right there. I'm so clammy. I wish you guys can feel my hands you're, right now. <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. Right like this. Okay. And so what should I expect after? Just like, I know it said to wash with a gentle body wash and stuff. How else should I take care of the areas? Um, it's on, on your face because it's on your face. People have a tendency to use scrubs and things like that. For three to five days, I want you to just be really nice and kind to your face. So okay. no, no tretinoin, no Retin-A products or okay. retin retinols uh, because they can be irritating. Nothing that's going to uh, that's going to be a scrub, and then nothing that's uh, that has an acid product in it. Okay. So basically, just a light cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen. And sunscreen, absolutely. Um, Make sure that you're wearing sunscreen and stay out of the sun for about uh, two weeks. Okay. Are you doing okay? Yep. Okay. When was the last time you had a lot of problems with your um, HS? Um, uh not my armpit it's so weird it like has moved around so my armpits used to give me a lot of problems yeah they have not recently but it's been more of like my lower body so okay. um like you know my bikini line and that area so that's another thing i want to work on doing sure. this as well but um it's just weird because i never would get it there and now it's kind of moved so i'm not exactly sure i'm also um actually meeting with you guys next week to talk about humera Oh, perfect. Yes. I like so that. Kind of want to do everything, you know, to try to just help the areas. Because I was on Accutane. Yeah. For a while. Did that stop the HS? Um, not really. I did have, like, some acne on my face. So obviously, it helped. But uh -huh. the HS really didn't do much to it. I'd still get flare-ups, you know? All right. That's the treatment. That's, that's it. I'm going to put some sunscreen on her because I want to make sure that her face is protected when she leaves here. Um, not so horrible. No, no. Yeah. And I'm going to wear a mask. So if I'm a little exactly. red, I could just, you know, disguise it. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It, it just maybe like a little sting, I would say. Mm -hmm. Almost like you got a sunburn really quickly. So uh, what will happen is that these hairs um, that that are that that remain, they have a tendency to just stay the same length that they that that they um, started out being, um, and then over time your skin just pushes them out. And yeah, that usually takes about ten days. Um, but the nice thing is that you have no hair growth for ten to about for about fourteen days usually. Do you have any questions at all? No, I'm excited. Thank you guys so Do much. Do you want to plug anything? Um, you guys can follow me on social. <laughs> Beauty in the Beat, B-E-A-U-T-I-E, -E, no I in the Beat. And catch me on air. I'll be talking about this at 3 o'clock today. Okay. Thanks, guys.